It's Union Busting 101. Documents reveal Verizon's attacks on organized labor. The U.S.'s largest wireless provider encourages staff to use anti-union rhetoric and disparages previous unionization efforts. Walmart does the same thing. A lot of the corporations in America do the same thing. This is my Michael Senato. Unions offer empty promises and unrealistic expectations and don't act with integrity according to internal documents circulated by Verizon's Human Resources Department and obtained by The Guardian. In documents given to managers and employees, the U.S.'s largest wireless provider encourages its own staff to use anti-union rhetoric and disparages previous unionization efforts within the company. Several pages focus on the six Verizon retail stores in Brooklyn that voted to join the Communications Workers of America in 2014. These were the first Verizon stores to unionize. The union battles at these stores are used to frame unions as a danger to Verizon and its workers. The employees in Brooklyn were highly influenced into voting for the CWA. The documents allege they were swayed by a good sales pitch through empty promises and unrealistic expectations. Unfortunately, the union does not have to sell with integrity, and it was our Brooklyn employees who paid the price. Before you sign anything or even click submit online, think hard about joining a union and remember the story of your Brooklyn workers. What's the story of the Brooklyn workers? Verizon pushed for a union decertification vote in the Brooklyn stores, which voters, which workers voted against doing in August 2018. In a questions you may have section, Verizon offers further input against unions. So, wait a second. Verizon is telling their employees across the country that the Brooklyn stores are an example of why you shouldn't unionize and why they paid the price Yet, their employees want to keep the union. Hmm. Interesting. I get a feeling, I have a sneaky suspicion, that the actual employees at the Brooklyn stores uh, weren't approached about this. Because it sounds like they uh, might want to unionize. Or they did unionize, and they want to keep it that way. Why? Well, because it's screwing them over. They don't even know it's screwing them over. They've been hypnotized to think that living wages are good. They've been hypnotized to think that an entity protecting their employment is a good thing. It's not. Anti-union videos are, are the most ridiculous propaganda out there. Like, like I've, I've watched a Walmart anti-union video. It is, it is the most ridiculous thing um, you will ever watch. And I've not seen any Verizon ones firsthand, but I'm, come on, I'm sure they're exactly the same. I remember my first experience, my first and only experience with the union was very positive. I was working at uh, a grocery store. It was my first job as a youth. That said grocery store is still down the hill from where I grew up. And it also, uh, it, it's under new ownership and a new name now. But some of the employees are the freaking same. And uh, I was there with my fiance uh, in November around the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. We had to go pick up a couple things for her to make a pie that she wanted to make, uh, which was delicious. And uh, we go, and I see one of my old managers um, from when I was uh, from when I was working there. And he didn't like me for some reason. I don't know why. I had long hair and a lot of piercings, and I was kind of. I mean, I wasn't going to win employee of the year anytime soon. I, uh, I worked at my own pace, if you will. Day jobs have never been my thing. But uh, he never liked me for whatever reason. But I, I did my job. Like, it's not like, like I wasn't a slacker. I wasn't like hustle magoo. But I wasn't a slacker. But anyway, this dude never really liked me. Of course, he didn't recognize me because, uh, you know, it's been over a decade and I look a lot different. Uh, so he didn't recognize me, which was good because it would have been awkward. But anyway, I saw that dude and I was like, holy shit, man, that guy's still there. Um, anyway, when I was there, when I was working there as a teenager, this gentleman approached me as I was moving carts. And he said, hey, be sure you're safe when you're doing that. And I'm like, right on, man, I'm safe. And he hands me a card. And he says, we have your back. If you ever feel like you're not treated right, we have your back. And it showed me on the card the pay raises I was supposed to receive, 
the benefits I was eventually supposed to receive and what the union did for me. And I could have stayed, if I would have stayed at that job for the rest of my life, because of the union protections that I had, and because of the raises that were required, I would have made a living wage. I would have made enough to survive. I could have stayed at, now, chances are that union might not have, that union might be gone there. I, I don't, I have no idea. I mean, this is years ago and I've, you know, haven't even lived in the city for years. But based on the way the union structure worked, I would have been protected. Because that's what unions do. They protect employees. And now at the time, I was a skateboarding punk rocker. Uh, so I thought it was so badass that I was in a union. And, you know, some of my other friends worked there. Uh, too. So we would skateboard. We're like, yeah, we're, we're union. We're freaking, we should, we should start a, we should start a third wave ska band. That's, we, we were kids and we were dumb. But, uh, but anyway, so let's see what else is in this. Verizon also criticized the 2016 strike of workers at the Brooklyn retail stores and nearly 40,000 other unionized employees who work as network technicians. Uh, the documents further explain Verizon's anti-union position. We don't believe unions are necessary at Verizon Wireless or that you or your coworkers will be well served by electing a union as your collective voice. Meanwhile, Verizon pushed for a union decertification vote in their Brooklyn stores, which vo workers voted against doing. So the workers want the union. Verizon doesn't want the union. And who has your best interest? The workers who you are your peers? Or your employer who wants to exploit you. And yes, Verizon wants to exploit you. I don't think they're as bad as Comcast, but they ain't far off. And they're trying to dismantle the free and open internet. Verizon, Comcast. You really think an entity that wants to strip the free and open internet away from citizens so they can make more money gives a shit about their employees? They don't. And I'm not begrudging anybody that works there. I'm not shaming workers. I understand that sometimes that's the only job people have access to. You know, cause, and, and I'm, I'm pointing that out there because sometimes I get emails like, oh, you know, I work at Verizon or I work at this and I'm sorry. Like, no, don't apologize. You're, you're doing what you have to do to survive. This isn't directed at the workers. This is directed at the powers that be. And this is telling the workers, be aware they don't give a shit about you. Be aware that they don't give a fuck about you. And be aware that the strikes are happening because they need to happen. And they're happening in Brooklyn. Why? Because those workers have union protection. It's easier to strike when you have union protection. When you're working two and three jobs to live, because it's easier to exploit you, it's a lot harder to strike. It's hard to strike when you're paycheck to paycheck. When you have a union behind you and you have people behind you, it's a lot easier to strike. And strikes are what we need. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Go through it together and make